What is email marketing? Let's say you've got 20 people that enter your store or your website today. Then they leave the door. How do you communicate your next message to them? How do you show them you have a next offer that might interest them? Or maybe you've made some changes to your menu. Maybe you've changed some prices. So how do you communicate back to them every time you have something new to show? Well, you need to ask their email first. Once you have their email, you can communicate with your clients. Let's grab a simple example. So how do you get a girl or a guy to go on a date with you or to marry you? Well, the first step is coming up with something interesting to say, right? Then you want to ask their number or any method of communication. That way you can communicate to them every time you want to ask something. Okay, now let's translate that into business talk. Now that interesting thing you had to say, that's basically your subject line. And once you have a person's email, you can access their world at any time because you have a way to communicate with them. And I want to say that when you communicate with someone in an interesting way, when you have small talk, for example, uh, that's the first step. But then what happens? Then you start talking about more interesting and more deep things. And it goes the same way with businesses. At first, customers will buy likely small things. And that's what we call your, your trigger or your, your lead magnet. And then from there, they'll start buying bigger things. And that's where you get to deeper conversations. Now, I won't dive into capturing emails too much since that's the next video in the mini series. But I'll tell you right now that if you want to capture an email, you need to have a form on your website. You need to have a way to take that email and store it in a database. So you either want to ask your cash register person to ask the email of every client. Uh, maybe you can offer a discount for the next time they come and that at the same time will incentivize them to come back. And also you can then promote or share interesting things that they might like. Since they like your company, then they want to know what's going on with it. You know, if you have a restaurant and you sell uh, I don't know, uh, shish kebabs every day, then that girl that comes to eat those shish kebabs, she's gonna wanna know when there's a $5 off, you know? She's gonna wanna know that. So you're making her a favor, and at the same time, you're making yourself a favor. Now, before you capture any email, you need to have your email funnel sequence created, because you don't want someone to sign up to your email newsletter and then receive nothing. So first, you'll want to have your welcome email ready. So when they subscribe, they'll automatically get that. That's a confirmation that they've successfully entered their email and then they can receive whatever you promised them for entering it. Whether it's an ebook, a newsletter, a promotion, coupon codes, whatever it is. Writing great emails requires some skill at copywriting though. Check out my previous video in the mini series, which covers exactly that, copywriting. Here's a list of different types of emails you can send the customer that will help you see what type of emails that can be sent and what companies do in general is just a brief overview so first there's the welcome email welcome emails welcome emails they welcome your subscribers and they manage they'll be getting their expectations engagement and conversion emails these drive sales for the marketing team or yourself and they bring in leads and new customers the goal of those emails is to actually have a person take out their wallet, even if it's just for a dollar. The goal is a conversion from a non-customer to a customer, from a prospect to a customer, from a lead to a client. Then you've got Ascension emails. These are built to drive an, kind of an upsell to your company. So if they have something already, they've bought something, then and that email will try to push something else, something else they might need with what they just purchased. Next is segmentation emails. These drive customers to respond a, a yes to a certain category of your product or services. So, for example, you sell cookies and, uh, I don't know, the smoothies. Then maybe they just like the smoothies that you sell. They don't care about the cookies. So when you send that email, that kind of email, they'll know that they need to choose either the cookies or the, the smoothies. They'll click on one of them and you can maybe ask a question or you can... There's a lot of ways to formulate that kind of email, but in the end, the goal is to know what type of customer they are for your business. That way you can more precisely cater to them and you can serve them exactly what they want. And this is what you call personalized emails. And then we have those re-engagement emails. This is for subscribers that they've never really engaged with you and they haven't really done anything in your email. They haven't opened or clicked or gone into, into any links in your emails for the past like roughly 30 to 90 days, something like that. And at that point, you want to send them an email that will prompt them to answer like, yes, I'm, I'm interested in receiving this and that. There's a way to craft it, but in the end, it depends what you're selling. The goal is to get an answer as an yes, I'm still interested or no, and then we can remove them from the list so that we can increase our conversions and we can have a good understanding of what's working and what's not working. Because when you see that all your emails were sent and only 50% were opened, that a lot of them are not engaging, 
and if you remove those it might increase your your 50 percent to 70 percent but then at that point you'll know that it's it's actually working but on who on people that are interested not on people that are not interested because these will skew your analytics. You want to know the real data, people that are not engaging. It's like you're taking the whole world as a subject line and then you say, okay, well, only 10% of people like my product. Yes, well, take only the people that like your product and then do the test and you'll see from there who actually opens it or not. Okay, so how do you plan these emails and how do you send them out? Well, the first thing you need is an email marketing platform. Here are a few examples that I've tested and that I recommend. If you're just starting out, I suggest using MailerLite or get response. They offer free options, but the only thing is with MailerLite, you need a, a company email. So for example, bobby at adidas.com. Uh, and you also need a website because they don't accept anybody because, and that's a good move on their part because in the end, it helps their deliverability. Keep in mind that most of these platforms let you create forms that you can use to capture emails. If they don't offer that, then you probably don't want to go with them. Some of them even let you create landing pages. So that'll let you test out different things with different landing pages. Let's jump to email sequences. These platforms also offer a way to automate your emails. So they prepare, well, you prepare all your emails in advance in a specific order with a specific trigger base. And from there, they'll be sent out based on the triggers that you set. So an example for a trigger is a welcome email. So as soon as a customer enters their email in a certain form, the welcome email will be sent out. Landing pages. Another option for most of these platforms is that they let you create a landing page. This is perfect for promotions or offers that will run for a certain time and that you prefer not to be on your website. But why landing pages? Why not just create a new page on your website? Well, landing pages are better for converting since they won't actually lead to any other page. They won't have the logo that will bring you to the site. They won't have that contact us page, that about us page. All there is is what you're offering and that's it. So no deconcentration. De no uh, distractions, nothing like that. Now, a lot of people say email marketing is dead, but actually it's not. It's a really cost-effective way to get your customers to come back and purchase new products and communicate with them all the time. I mean, what better way do you have? Email is really personal. It's less social media, but more like valuable uh, text messages. You know, it's like a, an inbox that's personal to you. Now, here's an email starter pack, which I recommend you go through and to see the different types of email that I've mentioned, I put them in there. I also have a few different types of explanations on what different types of emails are and quick guide that you can quickly go through. It's not a big thing, it's just about maybe two, it'll take you three, four minutes to go through and then you'll have a better understanding of email marketing with that video as well. Email marketing campaign, we have different options for different actions and it all starts here with the trigger. So the trigger is when someone fills up a form on the website. So we've created a form that MailerLite lets us create. We've embedded it on the website. Then when someone writes their email because they're interested in learning more about the company or getting whatever we've promised them, in this case, I think it was a newsletter or something or promotions on healthy products. Well, basically you have to identify where you want to cut people off. So. What I mean by that is where you want to separate people, segment people. On the left here, you see these are people that have opened the welcome email. How do we identify these people? Well, they're people that are interested. They've, they've at least opened the welcome email, so they're at least more interested than the people that haven't. The people that haven't, what I'll do with them is I'll send them another email. Another email which is similar to the welcome email, which is stating a bit of the things, but it's a bit shorter and it's a bit more like geared towards them opening it because we want to it's our second chance you know we can't mess up the second chance we have the first chance missed it second chance to communicate with them we'll we'll try a different way once they've opened the first email the welcome email they'll go down that list after two days they'll receive the first email in the micro series which is some tips on healthiness and different ways to eat and stuff like that then the second one is the second email in the in the trigger and you can see it comes after two days same thing for the next one same thing for the next one until they get to the fifth email which at this point they are moved to another list that new list is a list where people are engaged they're interested so we'll send them different emails than the people that haven't opened if you want to to add more steps here you can you can add any types of steps you can add more emails you can change the dates by clicking here or you can do a lot of different things but i just wanted to show you the general components of an email marketing campaign which is a, this is a very small campaign by the way there are some that are very complex and 
a lot bigger this one is just a client that i'm not working with anymore and he's not really using the site too much so well as as what he told me so that's why i can actually show it to you guys it doesn't really matter i hope you like this video next one will be about lead generation like subscribe it helps me a lot and i'll see you soon okay